what's going on guys shake and make back and we're on my team it looks like everything is good to go they've updated pictures and everything and yeah this is looking really really nice now they finally have uh i guess fixed everything and it's it's finally ready to go which is really good now with the starter packs we're gonna pick the celtics i am gonna open up some other packs on some of my farm accounts for the ps4 and just show you guys what are in them but I want Celtics players, I like playing with the Celtics, and when I did this before this, I used all Celtics guys, and uh, they actually played really well. I got some uh, good, some, I think I got Terry Rozier, Phil Presley's not who I like, same James Young, ah, alright, he's not that bad. But um, yeah, I got some pretty good players, so let's hope we can get Rozier again, and uh, Terry Rozier, where are you at? Nah, that's not him, that's Travis Ware and Xavier Henry, who really isn't that good. And it looks like they still haven't updated the shoes. I don't know what kind of shoes those are, but they are in the game. We're going to open up this last bit of cards right here. Perry Jones. Okay, we get a ball as well. That's something which I think we did get the first time around. But we're going to get the gold Celtics logo, Tyrus Thomas, and Evan Turner. Okay, not too bad of a silver player right off the back. I actually got him from the Celtics domination game last time. And uh, Steve Clifford. Okay, not too bad of a squad, but... We don't get Terry Rozier, who was nasty last time, man. He was so good. We do have a reward packed open for watching the tutorial. Not too bad. Let's rip right into this. See if we got anything decent in here. Any good uh, bronze players or even a silver player would have been nice. But uh, it does not look like that. Malcolm Thomas maybe is all right. I don't really know most of these guys. Coast of Papa Nicolau. Nah, not what I'm looking for. Oh, this is kind of nice. They've added uh, some players onto these packs before. They were just empty, but kind of cool. How they have changed the packs, but the pack boxes are gone. Where are the pack boxes at? All right, so I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown of my team as we uh, check it out. We got the cards and everything right here. You guys can see there's a couple new things, obviously, this year. They've got the shoes, and uh, we can actually go to edit right here, and we can apply a shoe card, but uh, we currently don't have any that can be applied to Pressy. I'm not sure who he is partnered with, if we've partnered with anyone. I'm really not sure. But let's see if we can add one to Turner. I'm not really sure what kind of shoe we even got, to be honest. But, yeah, just a, a new feature. The shoes will give you attribute boost, which is kind of cool. But, obviously, they don't last for too long. Only a few games at the most. And then there are the diamond level ones, which do last for a little bit longer. And those are better, which are pretty, pretty rare, I imagine. One new thing that we do have, and they mentioned, is if you hit square, which is the options button, and then you can buy contracts. And, yeah, you can buy contracts for every player in the lineup. So if your entire lineup is out of contracts, you can just buy them for that. And uh, it's kind of nice. I I don't really mind that option, but uh, I probably won't be using it, to be honest. Another thing that they've added this year is team overalls. You guys can see an overall rating, an offense, a defense. Those are new. And, uh, I mean, before they had, like, you're basically what you were in each, like, thing. Like, three-point scoring, blocking, rebounding. They had ratings for those. But now they've got overall ratings, which is kind of nice. And even affect some of the challenges. You have to be like a 90 overall to do this challenge or 80 overall to do this challenge. So that's kind of nice. Something new and different to the mode. Let's continue to break it down for you guys. All right, now that I've showed you guys my lineup, let's check out a few more things. I'm not going to break down the gauntlet in this, but here's how you pick the 10 players. You just pick 10 players, put them in there. And then when you want to actually play the gauntlet, you will go over to the gauntlet right here. Yes, and as you guys can see... It's right here. All you got to do is actually start a series up, and then you'll be able to choose and play against people online and do that kind of thing. It is there. Good to go. I'm going to give you guys a quick run-through of the challenges. As you guys can see, the first tier, you know, they give a decent amount of MT. 1,000 to 3,000 at the most. Not too bad. It starts getting better as you go along. I'm not sure what the injured reserve is, but 3,000 in that category, 4,500. It's getting better. 4,000. Still up there, 4,000, 5,000, 7,000 as you go to the last category, 10,000, 6,000, 8,000, and 7,500 are not that bad. There are no weekly games out yet, but this is looking pretty promising right here. I like the fact that they've upped the uh, amount of awards that we get, and they, they're actually better than they were before. But yeah, that is that part of it, and obviously, there's domination as well. You guys can see, here is the first set of domination. This is the normal one. You guys can see all the teams and everything like that. And all the uh, amounts that you have to earn for beating the games and everything like that. You go all the way up to last game. You need to get 825. That's doable. It really is. Especially once you get some really good players. Which you'll definitely have by these last few games. You'll have some gold players. Especially if you just play this mode and keep playing it. Now, I had played before and I got up to Nuggets after playing for a while. So, I got pretty far. But, it didn't matter. They obviously reset it. And then, once you unlock this... You'll unlock the historic domination. We got Road to the Playoffs as well. It is back again this year. You guys can see the rewards. 
are actually better this year, but the requirements, the, uh, what's it called, restrictions are pretty much the same thing. But then when you get to the top here, a gold Elvin Hayes, really not what I'm looking for. Gold Rip Hamilton sounds pretty cool, but for making the third seed, that's a pretty good accomplishment. And then right here, an Amethyst Chris Mullen. That's an all right card, but for making the second seed, is it really that great? And the Amethyst Patrick Ewing. So uh, pretty good cards. They'll probably go for a bunch, but there's already a couple of these Amethyst cards on the block. Oh my goodness, that's hard to say. We come over here to the auction block. Now there are a few changes this year. One change that is huge is the tax is 10% and is no longer 15%, which is a big 5 percentage, man. It really is. That's literally thousands of MT everyone now gets to keep on to. But let's take a look at some of the colors on the auction block. They've got the bronze, silver, and gold, typical stuff. Then there's the amethyst, and there's diamond as well. You can sell diamond cards. I don't think there's any up on the block. Now, how do you get diamond cards? Through the collection rewards, and there might be another way. I'll show you guys that in a second here. But I did just check, and there are a couple amethyst cards out not really sure how you get this. In fact, this one is a dynamic ratings card, which I'll talk about in a little bit. But basically, every card has two versions this year for the current players. James Harden will have a normal, you know, current day player card, but it'll also have a dynamic ratings one, which changes on a daily basis, you know. And it's pretty cool. I like how they did that. That doubles the amount of cards pretty much are out there and on the market, which will be cool. I like that. Another thing that I've noticed as we search for gold cards, this is the pre-order MJ. Now, I'm recording this video, and I'm going to have this uploaded at midnight. So, I don't know if we'll be able to sell our MJs, but it looks like you can. Now, obviously, this guy, I don't know. Maybe this was a developer that put this up. Maybe we won't be able to sell ours, but it looks like you'll be able to sell that Jordan card. I have no clue what it's going to go for. It's got so many badges. I imagine it won't go for too much because a lot of people are going to have the Jordan Edition. But it might go for, you know, 10,000 to probably, hopefully more than that. Hopefully 20 to 30,000 MT. It's a rare card, but people are going to put it up for cheap just trying to get some quick MT. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully it's worth a little bit. But that's pretty cool. You'll be able to auction off that card if you choose to, I think. Going out the market, just seeing there's some bronze cards up here for a pretty typical price. Now, when you post a player up, you can actually post them for 500 coins just like last year. But if you post a jersey or a stadium, you can post those for a lower than that. I think 250 or 350 is the cheapest you can put them up as. But you can put them up a bit cheaper. Now, unfortunately, the auction is limited still to that four-hour thing. You can't remove auctions. So there are still some issues and flaws with the market. And I don't know if it immediately updates or if it takes, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Those are one thing that we're going to have to wait and figure out until more people have the game and uh, we can actually really experiment. We'll take a look at the team create. Now, this is a huge thing. A lot of people, you know, saw this with the uh, crew and they were like, that's going to be in my team. It is in my team, but you do have to unlock it. It's really not that hard to unlock. I played the game for literally a day and was able to unlock it. As you guys can see, all you have to do is get the 60 cards, 70 cards, and uh, 80 cards, and you've got all your unlocks and you'll be good to go. And yeah, it was pretty nice. These MT bonuses are really nice right there. You see right here, a Bucks Ray Allen. Wow, that's cool. I thought that was going to be a, what's it called, a Celtics one, but no. That is actually a Bucks card. Let's keep moving down and see. Fat Lever right there, pretty dope. All right, keep it rolling. Bill Lambeer will be at 1,000 cards. We keep going down and Penny Hardaway at 1,200. That's going to be dope. Cannot wait for that. When we get to 1,400, Amethyst Ralph Sampson. That looks really cool. I'm not a huge, like, I don't know too much about Ralph Sampson, but hey, man, I'll take him an Amethyst card. Amethyst card. It just looks really cool. That'll be awesome. We keep moving down. Joe Dumars. And look at these MT amounts, too. For every 100 cards, you know, 60,000 MT, 80,000 MT almost, 150,000 MT. That is a ton. And then we come down here, and these are the best cards in the game right now. Definitely. Diamond John Stockton, Diamond Akeem the Dream, and Diamond Michael Jordan. So that is pretty dope, man. That is how to get them. You may be thinking 2,700 cards is a lot, but when you go over to the collection, remember, you've got your normal 76ers, and then you got your dynamic ones right here. There's two of each of them. There's so many. You guys will see now, instead of being, you know, broken up into different, like, teams, 80s team, 90s team, 96, 97, they're broken up into franchises and by team, 76ers, one and then 76ers two you guys can see that's kind of cool i like how they do that i mean obviously the two will be weaker but then obviously since it's weaker the prize will be weaker and then when you go to the one since it's a lot more of the better guys like iverson and irving a six box pack now i don't know if that's enough really uh, one little box of packs you know for for getting iverson malone julius irving 
Percy Hawkins. Like, that's a lot of good players. So, I'm not really too sure if that's enough of a reward for me. But, hey, we'll see what it is. And I definitely think for some other franchise, like, uh, let's see. Let's go to the Bulls. This is going to be a ton. This has to be more. And it it, it doesn't show me. Okay. It, it, it's not showing me what it is. <laughs> Maybe it's 10 packs. I'm assuming it's got to be more than four, though. Four just, yeah, see, this one is 10 right here for the Celtics, so hopefully the Bulls one's got to be going for a ton. But yeah, this will work the way the collections worked last year, which is pretty cool. The last thing, really, that they added that was new, this is just freestyle, and we're hopping into it right now. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this quick rundown of my team. Pretty nice. I just wanted to break down pretty much everything I could, make it simplified. Hopefully it wasn't too long a few days ago when I actually had him, but uh, yeah, I don't think he got that type of range. Whoa. Hits it from out of bounds, but yeah, I love the way my team is looking this year. It looks unreal, and I cannot wait to play this and, uh, yeah, collect some cards. You guys know we're going to get some pack openings and everything going soon, some gameplays. I'll give you guys tips on domination mode, everything like that, but please be sure to be subscribed, obviously, to the channel, and leave the likes, man. They do, uh, appreci I appreciate you guys. I'm going to be busting my butt these pe next few days, next week, two weeks, months, to get you guys the best content, the best tips, the best everything, because that's what I do, baby. I may have missed a few key points, and there are definitely some secrets to come out, like what are the runes, and what are all these other things, but we'll have to wait to find out, and uh, yeah, I, I'm sure it'll be a community thing, too, to like see, I don't know, how to unlock some of the other players that I will show you guys in a second right here that are in the reward questions. I didn't even show these. Right now, it's got game rewards. Now, this Ewing, I'm assuming, is the one for the first seed. Then we got the Pippin for the Historic Domination, the Kid for the Domination Normal, again, in the second seed. Now, I'm not really sure where this Clyde Drexler is coming from, this Bob Cousy. I don't really know. Maybe they're from weekly challenges that are coming up soon. Then they've also got these uh, Collector Award ones. Those are all those cards. Kind of cool. The Ray Allen is from the Bucks. That is uh, pretty nice. But yeah, this is where the created cards will go. Those are Amethyst, basically, when you get 60, 70, and 80. And yeah, you guys can get basketballs from, uh, you know, you can collect those too, I guess. But that's just from uh, completing the normal teams, to be honest. Those aren't too amazing. There also is this collection right here. It's got um, question marks. I don't know what it is, but Magic Johnson from the 90. We've got a 90s Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Bill Russell, Steve Nash, and Scalabrini. Very interesting group. That We got Hall of Famers, and then we got Scalabrini. Not really sure what that's all about, but we'll have to see. And uh, I'm pretty sure the moments, where is the moments cards? I thought that moments Jordan was around here somewhere, but I don't see it anymore. Oh, gems of the game. Here we go. Moments one. But uh, yeah, there will be more of these and definitely more of other things. But I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, you can auction off this card. It looks like you can search from the auction. That's another, another new feature that is pretty cool this year. But I hope you guys did enjoy, man. Be sure to leave a like. And uh, yeah, man, the grind has begun for 2,700 cards. Not even, there's not even 2,700 cards in the game yet, so it's impossible to get those cards. But, uh, I, I mean, yeah, it's going to be really hard to get any of them. You're going to have to open up packs on packs on packs, which we're going to do. 